Hi, and welcome to Ray Goes To. I'm Ray, and today we're going to Gombe National Park in Tanzania. Come on, let's go. First of all, we have to figure out where in the world are we. Tanzania is bordered on the north by Lake Victoria and on the west by Lake Tanganyika. Just north of Kigoma, on the shore of Lake Tanganyika, you'll find Gombe National Park. But the real question isn't where is Gombe National Park, but why would you want to go there? While Gombe is gorgeous, with untouched forest, deep jungle, and beautiful crystal clear waters of Lake Tanganyika, the real reason that people go there is to get up and close with chimpanzees. In 1960, Jane Goodall came here to study chimpanzees and became the world's expert. And these animals are the grandchildren and great-grandchildren of the same ones she studied. Not surprisingly, they're very used to humans hanging around. Gombe is one of the best places in the world to see wild chimpanzees in their natural habitat. They're right there in front of you. They know you're there, but they go about their business doing their own thing as if you weren't. You can take photos, you can follow them, and it's an incredibly moving, deeply personal experience for everyone who visits. Getting there, though, isn't exactly easy. From Kigoma, you only have a couple of options, and they all require taking a boat. First, you can take a water taxi. These are inexpensive, but take a long time to reach the park, as they stop at each of the fishing villages to pick up and drop off passengers. There's no shade, no bathroom, and each boat is overloaded with people and supplies. It will take about four hours each way if you use a water taxi, so you'll want to plan to spend at least one night in the park. Done right, you can arrive around noon on day one, see a chimp safari in the afternoon, spend the night, see another chimp safari in the morning before your park pass expires, and then go back on day two in the afternoon taking another water taxi. Second, you can hire a private boat, which will zip you to Gombe directly in about two hours. This is what I did. We left early in the morning, and by about 9 a.m. when the park opened, we'd arrived, passing the fishing villages and water taxis along the way. I disembarked, signed in, paid the park fee, met the ranger, and then the two of us headed off into the jungle. I knew if we were lucky, we'd get close to the chimpanzees. What I didn't know is how close they would get to us. One even snuck over and very slowly, very carefully, as if even it knew how dangerous this was, licked the salt off the guide's forearm. The guide's eyes were wide with excitement and fear. And of course, unfortunately, none of that got captured on camera. Few things are as deeply moving as watching these animals interact mere steps away from you. An animal lover, I did not expect to be so impacted by this experience, to feel so connected and awestruck by the chance to see them. It's impossible to be unaffected by this, to not see how similar our own species is with theirs. I won't wax anthropomorphic on you, but I did walk away feeling humbled and changed. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Ray Goes To with Ray Bartlett. If you liked it, please subscribe to the YouTube channel, and you can find me online at facebook.com slash Author or on my website at www.kaisora.com. That's K-A-I-S-O-R-A dot com. See you next time, and safe travels.